up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler. And Mike. And this CIF basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. We're down at the RPP Long Beach Poly in the second round of the playoffs, hosting the Mayfair Monsoons. They come in from not far away, but not league opponents in the Jackrabbits, ready to handle business in the second round. Not in Polly's league uh, anyway you want to shake it. Cameron Morrell not able to play tonight uh, with an injury. They're holding him out for later in the week. Jack Rabbit's trying to get fired up. They want these playoffs to be fun and enjoyable and put up some highlights for the fans. Mayfair may have scored first in this game, but Polly responded with some authority. You see Sullivan, the floater in the lane, and then K.J. Fagan from the outside, all part of a 22-2 Polly run. Whoa. And then Ropey with the cookies and the lay-in. I mean, try to keep up. It is Girl Scout cookie season. He wanted Samoa that one. And then great ball movement inside as he swings it. And then we're going to find, oh, KJ Fagan, who had Swing a great it. first quarter, finds Chris Sullivan Swing over there. It. Sullivan had seven first quarter points. Fagan also stepping in. Excellent one. As you see, that pass not intended for KJ Fagan, but he's going to go ahead and take that one, kiss it off the window. Rashawn Prince, baseline jumper. That's a knockdown, and that's going to beat the buzzer. 26 6 Jackrabbits after the first quarter. Solid start, and it would improve. But on the other side, Jared Sheffield, uh, chefing up some points for Mayfair, had 10 points in the second quarter. He was a home run hitter, much like Gary Sheffield, possibly a relation, I have no idea. And then on defense, the chef in the kitchen, but Polly overall, they were unaffected. Jordan Bell, I mean, that's what he does. He got everything easy in the paint, all dunks and layups, 4-2. Obviously, that is the strength of his game, and he was just wasting no time. Why trouble yourself with jump shots when you can drive it to the rack and get the and one? Polly up blackjack at the break. JB, more mashems in the second. But it was, in the second half, it was dominated by the Polly defense. I mean, tough shot time, as the uh, the chef had to 86 the scoring in the second half. Polly just locking down, and of course, Jordan Bell. He's Batman, Mike. Uh, and, uh, like, the good Batman, too. He's not George Clooney or anything. He is batting shots left and right. He had five on the night for what is about an average performance for the Oregon Bound senior. The Monsoons just got nothing to drop. Tough second half. They only score eight points. Uh, obviously, a difficult way for them to end a fantastic season. KJ with the buzzer beater to end the third. Sophomore guard had 13 points. Polly up 54-26 after three. More easy buckets. Staten with the layup. Rashawn Prince, rock him to sleep. Knock down the three in your face. He had 19 points for the Rabbits, closing in on two Gs. Everybody got to eat. Artis Paris putting that one back up and in. And then the transition pull up. Kamari Hunter off the bench. Splash. Long Beach Polly pulling away. 71-28 cruising into the quarterfinals. Monsoon's a better opponent than you'll normally have to face in the second round, but the Jackrabbits handling it with a plum. This highlight video brought to you in part by McCarty's Jewelry, here for you since 1932. The test for Long Beach Poly definitely steps up a notch as they will have to travel to play Parker Jackson Cartwright and the Loyola Cubs, a better team than their seed would indicate, and so Poly will have to bring their defense with them on the road. You want coverage of that game, as well as everything else Long Beach playoffs, stay right here, gazettesports.com.